So, Jimmy, do you think you're a good programmer or not? I am a good programmer. And are you sure about that? I am 100% sure about that. Well, I'll challenge you to a five minute coding challenge. Sure, what is it? So, wherever my Cody goes, you have mm -hmm. to follow. So. so, like this? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you can do that? It seems challenging, but it also seems fun. Well, don't think you can beat my Cody, because my Cody is as fast at the speed of light. Well, I'll try to beat your Cody Rocky. So, see in the end of the video who will win, and yeah. comment down below, Team Cody or Team Mbot. So, go, go Team Mbot! A few moments later. No, not this one. No. Maybe this one. What uh, happened, Jenny? You were ever so confident before. What about now? Well, I can't decide what sensor to use. I it, There's just many of them, okay? Yeah, that's really frustrating. Yes, it is. But I have a magic tool to help you. So this is a magic tool. Wow, what is it? It's the smart camera add-on pack. Can we open it now? Yeah, let's do that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff inside. Okay, so starting with these cute little balls. Yeah, these are orange EVA balls, and these are green EVA balls. So they're used for the smart camera to detect the colors and used in programming. And there's three of each. Yeah, so in total there's six. Okay, next. Ooh, I think these are like the sensors, right? Yeah, so this is the smart camera itself, and this is the camera, this is the RGB light, and there's a bunch of different ports that I'll be explaining later. And I believe this is the battery? Yeah, so this is the battery of the smart camera. This is used for the smart camera when it's like being tested and yeah. Okay, next, these. Oh, I remember these. They're kind of like this. Like the one in the shopping mall that like on the items kind of and then you go beep and then you check the price. You mm -hmm. pay for it. Yeah, it's kind of like this one right here so it's the same thing but this is more simple oh yeah it's right there yep. okay but this is not used for paying or anything it's used for the smart camera to scan and to tell the mbot what to do oh that's really cool yeah okay next oh look they gave us extra yeah so these are like extra materials that we can use to connect your smart camera to our mbot and we cannot forget about these. We need these to connect. Yeah, the screws. Yeah, they're pretty long. These screws too. Yeah, yeah right? these are shorter than the last one. And we cannot connect the screws because they're just gonna go loose if we don't have the nuts. So yeah, here we are. And the next, ooh, we have lots of wires. Yeah, so let me explain this one. This wire is used for connecting our smart camera to our computer to uh, run programs and things. And it's also used to connect our battery to our computer to charge it up. And these, oh, this one first? Yeah, so this, this one, one is important because this connects to our MBOT and this thing connects to the I2C in our smart camera. And next, I think there's like one spare or do we have to use both of these? Uh, well, there, yeah, there's one spare and it's used to be the link between the smart camera and the battery. Oh. So yeah, there's a lot of things. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Except for this. <laughs> and the smart camera can identify color blocks, as we said with the EVA balls like this one. Oh. It can be used for line following, which we didn't talk about yet. And it can be also used for barcode recognition, which Maybe. Afi just said, yeah, this one. So our box is empty now. Yeah. So now we're at the connecting part. The connecting part needs three components to prepare for. There is the MBOT, the smart camera, and the battery. There are four points to connect though. The first point, the second point, the third point, and the fourth point. So Jimmy, could you please show me how to connect these? Sure, so as you can see, point one is connecting to port one in your MBOT. You can connect to any port in your MBOT, but I'm just following the picture. And once you hear that click, then you know that the port is connected. Then point two is connecting the other end of this connector to your I2C port in your smart camera, like this. And now point three is connecting to this port in your smart camera with this connector. So like this. And now, 
point four is connecting the other end of this connector to this port right here. And like that. Now you've got it successfully connected to your smart camera. So your MBOT and your smart camera now can be programmed and do lots of things. So let's move on to the ball chasing robot. So Afi, I have programmed my MBOT to chase your Cody Rocky wherever it go. Really, in five minutes? Yeah. It's quite impressive. Mm -hmm. It is. So in this competition, there are rules too. So I'll tell you the rules. Sure, what is it? The rules are that your MBOT is supposed to follow my Cody Rocky around both of the cylinders and back. Easy. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay then, let's start. Okay, so your Cody Rocky takes off and the MBOT's right on its heel. The Cody Rocky, what? What does it do? Stopped. Turns around and... Taunts you. Oh my goodness. Okay, and it goes here. And what does it do? My MBOT follows it. And you take a really insane tight trick, but that is fine. Because my MBOT probably won't hit it. Okay, good. And then, now once you've got there, you return to the starting area and my and MBOT... You your MBOT follows me, so yeah, Jeremy. I five. So, now at this point of the video, you know the basics of the smart camera. So, you can easily do it at home. Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> Whoa, Jemmy, so impressive. I can't believe you actually completed my mission. Now you've proved that you're a good programmer. Thanks. So, can you show us how you taught your smart camera to detect colors and how you coded it? Sure. Oh, thanks. Now, I'll leave this part to you. Okay. So now, I'm going to show you how to make your smart camera learn a color of an object. First of all, there is seven colors which represents the seven signatures that a smart camera can memorize so the first color is red the second is orange the third is yellow fourth is green fifth is cayenne sixth is blue and finally the seventh is violet so all these colors represent a signature so like here's like numbers to tell you which um which colors represent what signature so now i'm going to show you how to make it how you make your smart camera learn a color of an object. First of all, you click the learn button right here, like this, and hold it down. Once you held it, it's gonna flash all the colors, and once you get to the colors you want for your signature, you'll let go. So if you want it signature one, you'll let go as at red. So like, red, let go, and then you're still not done yet. Once you said, I want this to be a signature one, you need to match the light right here with your the color of your object. So if my color is yellow and this still flashes like white or something, then you need to adjust it for the light right here to be yellow. Once it's yellow, you click one time and you have successfully made the smart camera learn a color of an object. And don't get confused with setting the signature and learning an object. So now we zoomed inside the smart camera itself and the X coordinates for the smart camera stretch from zero all the way until 315. So the exact middle would be 158. Now that's gonna be hard to work with. So we would round it up to 160, which won't change much because it's only changed by two pixels. And Y coordinates is from zero to 207 and the exact middle will be 104, which will round to 100. So now for our MBOT turning to the left, our X coordinates from 160 would be 120, which is below by 40. And if the ball is below 120, which means it's to the left of 120, then we will make the robot turn left to face the ball. Now you're wondering, hey, what's happened in here? You aren't gonna turn it or anything? Well, it, if it's in here, it already like is kind of in the middle, so we don't need to turn. Um, this is more stretched out, so you look like, oh wow, that's a major difference, but in real life, it's actually not. So yeah, you don't need to stress about that. And another thing is, the object needs to be detected because if it's not detected, 
we don't want it, the robot to keep moving. So we need to check two conditions. The object is detected and the X position is less than 120. So now for the case of the M-Bot turning to the right. The object needs to be more than X coordinates 200 because if it's less than, it looks like in the middle. This is just stretched. So once it's more than 200, our M-Bot will turn to the object. And by two conditions, the object is detected and it is more than X coordinates 200. So now for the M-Bot moving forward. So this M-Bot will move forward if your object width is less than 50. So pretend you have a ball in front of your face. The object's width will be very big. So if you throw the ball away, the object width will be smaller. So in this case, the object width is less than 50, your M-Bot will move forward. But you can change this by yourself. So like 60 if you want to be like closer and your M-Bot will move forward, or if you want to be farther and for your M-Bot to move forward. So yeah, and it's two conditions. If the object is detected and the object width is less than 50, but you can change this on your own. So now we know the basic knowledge of the smart camera. So let's head in the coding part. So now I'm gonna show you how to make our MBOT chase Abby's Cody Rocky. First of all, we switch to upload mode and then we will add an extension called the smart camera. This one, and just click add. After you added it, let's go to events and put when MBOT M4 starts up in there. Once we put it down, we want our um, our smart camera to open its light for us to show like to sense our colors better So remember your ports and things after you've got that we're going to change it to block detection mode and then we're going to get a forever loop and An LED panel shows the number the LED panel will show the number of the width so like the width of our um, Object so width here and it's going to show the width. The farther it is, the less the width will be. Now, once we've got that forever, we're going to put a big if loop. This, because there's no use if, it, if the block is not there, it's no use to move forward, turn left, or turn right. So, if smart camera detected color block one, then we're going to do stuff. Now, it's time for our three events to move forward, to move to the right, and to move to the left. First of all, it starts of to move to the left. So, if what? If our object is less than 120, then we want it to move to the right, left. So we need a less than sign, and put it right there. Then we need our, um, our, oh, is it X coordinates, which we can just copy from the width because they are the same code and put that there. And once we've got that, we're going to change this to 120 and then go into repeat until loop. And this is to send if the X coordinate is less than 120. And the repeat until is for us to show repeat until when. Repeat until if it's not showing or if it's near 160, then we will stop. So here. And or don't do and because and is like both conditions need to be true and it's going to be impossible to be near 160 and it's not in this mbot's view in the smart camera's view sorry so first of all we need the not and then we need um to put our color block in here where is it uh if it's near near is at the third event specification and near targets near right here then we're going to change 150 to 160 or not, not one, if it's not detected. So we're going to duplicate that and we're going to put that in there. Then we're going to get a stop moving along with a turn left like this. And then, yeah, this is going to stop when the smart camera is near 160 and if it doesn't detect the object anymore, then it'll stop moving. So yeah, this is to turn left. And to turn right is the same thing, but just different conditions. Now we're going to change it. So in here, let's get a more than sign. So this, and then a more than sign like this. And just put this in there, throw this away. 
And then instead of 50, we're going to do a 200, like this. 200. 200. Wait, why isn't it changing? 200. Okay, there we go. Once you've got that, um, we're going to put that in there. Now, if you realize our conditions are changed, instead of being less than 120, it is more than 200, and then it'll turn right. Our, this condition will be the same because we don't need it to like be different because it's in the middle and exact. And then we're going to change turn left to turn right. Then we're going to move forward. So we need another if, like this if. And then we're going to get um, width, which is, where is it? Width, here it is. And then x coordinates, we're going to change that into width. Width is more, I mean less, than 50. Then we're going to, if it's less than 50, we are going to make it more than 50. Like this, repeat until it is more than 50, or it is not seen. The object is not seen. So let's take that or. So every condition, there is a not. Like this, put that inside, and put, no, put this inside, just take this. Then we're going to duplicate this one in there. Then we're going to get a more than sign and put this there. So it's going to stop if the width is more than 50 and if the object is not there. So yeah, that's when it's going to stop. So let's put a stop moving right there and then move a move forward and put a move forward over there. Then we're going to connect it all together like this and then we're going to stuff it inside our if like that. Once we're done with that, we are ready to go. And remember to check your port. That this is port three right there. You can do whatever port you want. So yeah, remember to check your port, guys. So thank you, Jeremy, for showing me this smart camera. You're welcome. Now I know a lot more about this magic tool. At this point in the video, I'm sure everyone has also gained the basic knowledge of the smart camera. So don't forget to apply this knowledge to your Make X Starter Smart Links. And I have a little secret to share with you guys. Really? Yeah. So in the actual competition, the environment can be very distracting. So you can bend your smart camera at a certain angle to make it only concentrate on your object. So like... Yeah, so you can bend it down or bend it up. That's yeah. convenient. Yep. So yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Sorry, crap. Now for comment.freelyblog.com. This website is where you can give us statements, encouragements, questions, or concerns. Every comment truly means a lot to us. So all you need to do is click write new entry and you will just need to submit your comment and that. The link is in the description below. And there's one more thing we need to tell you to subscribe. Like, like and share. share. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. bye. So the crowd.